Salvete omnes, ego sum magistra hurt. We're going to read Genesis chapter 2 in ecclesiastical pronunciation, but first let me share the free goodies I've made to accompany this passage. This free resource provides a variety of pre-reading, while-reading, and post-reading activities. They focus on helping learners process what they read and compelling them to read for meaning. Pre-reading 1, work out if these pairs of words are synonyms or antonyms, similar or dissimilar, is meant to help ease in vocabulary and draw connections between the meanings of words. This is an opportunity to look up words and get yourself ready for the vocabulary used in the passage. Pre-reading 2, rearrange these sentences from the start of the text in what you think is the right order, requires the reader to closely read a small section of text and be guided by the meaning to make the most sensible arrangement of it. This should not be done after seeing the true order of the text. As much as possible, the ordering should be based on reasoning and not on memorization. The goal is to get started with understanding the opening of the passage, which the rest of the narrative will hopefully flow from. The while reading activities are three lists of information that the reader gathers while reading the passage. The final list, a table of what each creature is made of, leads to the first post-reading question. Why is Eve made from a man's rib rather than directly from the earth like the other created beings in this passage? The other post-reading questions invite the reader to compare and contrast how are humans like God and how do they differ from God? That will be an important theme in chapter 3. And how is life in the garden different from life today? If you want to complete all these activities, Latin et tantum, you can. I have a 100% Latin version here as well. And if you want to check your answers, I've made an English answer key. And now on to the reading. Iste sunt generationes celi et terre, quando creata sunt, in die quo fecit Dominus Deus celum et terram. Et in die quo fecit Dominus Deus omne virgultum agri, ante quam orietur in terra, omnemque erbam regionis priusquam germinaret. Non enim pluerat Dominus Deus super terram, et homo non erat, qui operare tur terram. Ser fons ascendebat e terra, irrigans universam superficiem terre. Formavit igitur Dominus Deus, hominem de limo terre, et inspiravit in faciem eius spiraculum vite, et factus est homo in animam viventem. Plantaverat autem Dominus Deus paradisum voluptatis a principio, in quo possuit hominem quem formaverat. Produxit que Dominus Deus de humo omne lignum pulcrum visu, et advescendum suave. Produxit que Dominus Deus lignum et siam vite in medio paradisi. Lignumque scientiae boni et mali. Et fluvius egredie batur de loco voluptatis ad irrigandum paradisum, qui inde dividitur in quatuor capita. Nomen uni pison. Ips est qui circuit omnem terram evilat, ubi nascitur aurum. Et aurum terre illius optimum est. Ibi invenitur bdellium, et lapis onicinus. Et nomen fluvi secundi gehon, ipses qui circubit omnem terram etiopie. Nomen vero fluminis terci tigris, ipse vadit contra Assyrios. Fluvius autem quartus, Ipses Euphrates. Tulit ergo Dominus Deus, hominem, et possuit eum in paradiso voluptatis, ut operaretur et custodiret illum. Prece pitque ei dicens, ex omni ligno paradisi comede. De ligno autem scientiae boni et mali? Ne comedas. 
in quocumque enim die comereris ex eo, morte morieris. Dixir quoque Dominus Deus, non est bonum esse hominem solum, faciamus ei adiutorium, simile sibi. Formatis igitur Dominus Deus de humo cunctis animantibus terre et universis volatilibus celi, adduxit ea ad Adam. Ud videret, quid vocaret ea. Omnenim quod vocavit Adam anime viventis, ipsum est nomen eius. Appellavit que Adam nominibus suis, cunct animantia, et universa volatilia celi, et omnes bestias terre. Ade vero, non inveniebatur adiutur similis eius. Immisit ergo Dominus Deus soporem in Adam. Cumque obdor miset, tulit unam de costis eius, et replevit carnem pro ea. Et edificavit Dominus Deus costam quam tulerat de Adam in mulierem, et aduxit eam ad Adam. Dixit que Adam, hoc nunc os ex ossibus meis, et caro de carne mea, ec vocabitur virago, quoniam de viro sumta est. Quam obrem relinquet homo patrem su et matrem, et ad erebit uxori sue, et erunt duo in carne una. Erat autem uterque nudus, Adam sciricet, et uxoreius, et non erubescebant. Gracias vobis ago. Remember to check out the links in the description for my free resources. Thank you to my wonderful patrons for continuing to support my comprehensible input resources for Latin. And if you liked this video, I think you'll like this one next. Valete!